Hey, 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 beautiful. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Carisha from lifewithcarisha.org. And today I'm here with my bond number nine refill event. So if you're not aware, bond number nine has a refill event for their perfumes twice a year. And your girl participates every single time. So basically how it works, you have to buy two full size 100 milliliter bottles and you will get a 100 milliliter bottle refill for free so i think that's a really good deal simply because bond number nine y'all already know it is not cheap these bottles are 400 or 440 bucks so i think my order total was 880 bucks for the two full sizes and then i got one free like for me that's a deal so I normally shop with bond number nine during the refill event. So in this video, I'm going to show you what I got for the refill event in May. As you know, I took a couple of vacations since then. So your girl a little bit delayed. I also wanted to let you know, this won't be the full review of all the perfumes, but it will be more so an unboxing and my first impressions. And I will be doing a separate video dedicated to each perfume in this video so that you guys get the full, full review. All right, so let's get started. The first thing I got was Gold Coast. So it comes in a really cute box like this. It has the clear sleeve on it and they're traditional bond number nine boxes. <clears throat> so here is the Gold Coast bottle. This is actually one of my favorite perfumes from bond number nine. I love, love, love this perfume. Oh my goodness. So before we get too far, let me give you the notes for Bond Gold Coast. Bond puts a lot of notes in their scents. So we have lychee, apricot, red apple, rose essence, watermelon. Oh my gosh, I love watermelon. <laughs> rose absolute, cedarwood essence, vanilla, and musk. So what does it smell like? Gold Coast is literally at the top of my list. I feel like this is really a phenomenal fragrance really all year but for summertime baby is everything so the main vibe that i get from this is like a fresh aquatic type of vibe you do get a little bit of fruity you do get a little bit of floral but the number one thing and it's clear with gold coast is just it's like a coastal more coastal scent just really nice and fresh another thing i like about gold coast is i feel like it's really elegant so it's really good if you're going like out to dinner like this smell is just so intoxicating. I'm like so in love with it. Now I'm gonna keep it 100 with y'all. And this is as of today. It is definitely in my top three for bond number nine perfumes. Now it may change when I rate my bond perfumes later on this year in the video, probably for Vlogtober. But as of today, baby, Gold Coast, I'm telling you, it's the business. So the next one I got in the refill event is Scent of Peace. This is such a y'all. This one here is giving Greenwich uh, Village a run for their money. Scent of Peace is the bomb. Gotta be, gotta be one of the top Bond perfumes for women. Um, but oh, it smells so good. Um, so this is the box, purple. Now, I did want to tell you all, I did get to try Bond Number 9 Natural before it was released. And I am not a fan. I may do a separate video. Um, I'm sorry, Scent of Peace Natural. And I'm not a fan. So this is just the regular Scent of Peace. So here's the ball tool. It's so cute. This one is like, y'all, scent of peace is just top tier. Top tier, honey. Top tier. If you're trying to be that girl, if you're trying to be that girl, it's something I'm telling you, scent of peace, you're going to be that girl. Like this is perfect for, this is really good for spring and summer. Oh my gosh. Like I'm so addicted. I may wear this tomorrow, y'all. Oh, and for Bond, unless you, you know, me, I I spray mine on my skin. I know some people kind of spray it in the air. If you spray it in the air, hey, you know, then you're good to do a few sprays. But if you put it on the skin like I do, baby, I'm telling you, all you need is one spray. All you need is one. So for centerpiece, let's go over the notes. We got grapefruit, black currants, lily of the valley, honey. They are not playing. Cedarwood and musk. You guys, I'm telling you, this got to be one of my favorites from Bond. Another one that's top three. Now, this is probably the freshest scent that I have from Bond number nine. Keep in mind, these are just my first impressions of the perfume. Actually, this isn't even my first bottle. This is my second bottle, but it is extremely fresh. So I'm not going to take a leap and say it smells like, you know, Tide because it doesn't. 
but it definitely gives you like a detergent vibe if a detergent was a perfume it's so this right here like y'all now it does have a little bit of floral and a little bit of citrus which you know i love but the thing that's going to draw you in is that really clean fresh feeling so if you're looking to this is really good for spring really good for summer but if you just want to be like really fresh just got out the shower just trying to smell good baby this is the one but what i really like about it is it's really pleasant it's not too overpowering you know it doesn't just knock you out it's just a nice clean smell without doing too much i'm telling you scent of peace is your girl and what i like about it is that although it has a little bit of floral in it it's a not overpowering floral because y'all know i like floral but i cannot do like the bouquet which leads me to my next one that i regret you do not want to regret a $400 bottle of perfume. My free one, I regret, y'all. I'm like, ooh, why? What made me get this one? So that's what we're moving to next. And keep in mind, I will be doing full reviews because these perfume definitely deserve their own videos. All right, and finally, y'all, they treat the free perfume so bad. Look how they send the free perfume. Now, why y'all got to do? Bye. Come on now. Why y'all got to put the free perfume in a little generic box? So when it comes to the free perfume, obviously, you don't get the packaging that you get for the other the perfumes that you pay full price for. Um, so be very careful. And I think I've explained this in another video. But unfortunately, another thing about the free refills is that they don't come with the lid. So they have like this little paper little lid to them um sometimes you can find one on like macari ebay it's getting hard because so many people are getting the refills people have reached out to me i can't find the free ones on ebay they go quick so you know it is what it is but my free perfume was madison avenue and another thing about the free perfumes it's not like it's all of the stock that they have it's not every perfume that they have at bond they are only going to be cert certain perfumes that are available for the free refill. And I wanted Madison Avenue because I tried it in the store and, you know, I thought it smelled good. I said, well, that'll be my next free one. And to be honest with you all, there's only three more perfumes that I want from Bond, which you'll probably see that I'll get those in November. And then I think, you know, that's going to wrap up my Bond number nine collection and then I'll be moving to something else. But this was my refill. So let me give you the notes for Madison Avenue. It's Apple. Bergamot Essence, Black Currant, Rose Essence, which I really love. The Rose Essence is really prominent in this. Jasmine, Magnolia Essence, another one that I feel is uh, kind of prominent in this as well. Patchouli Essence, Ambrosian, and Praline. Now, here's my issue with Madison Avenue. And it's still going to get its own video too because I always give you guys the real the, the the truth the whole truth and none but the truth y'all already know um so even if it's negative i'm still gonna do my due diligence my issue and i wish i would have caught this sooner now it's not that i wore this i wore this today and it's not horrible to wear i just won't wear it but it's just not a favorite of mine this perfume is just way too floral the florals in this stand out like i said i love floral perfume but this one is literally a bouquet explosion. And for me, for your girl, that just don't work. I cannot do a bouquet explosion. And a candle I can, but in regards to a perfume, I, I, I just can't do it. Um, it, it just ain't working for me. <laughs> um, so yeah, the bergamot, which is like a citrusy, that's you can really smell that one in it too, but these um these florals they just take take over this has a kick to it as well so the rose the magnolia and i love jasmine jasmine is probably one of my favorite floral notes to have in a perfume but um this one is just baby and it is rich so don't put a lot of this on because baby they gonna smell you around a corner okay but um it's just not working for me am i gonna wear it yeah because this is a 400 hundred dollar bottle of perfume so this baby will get used. I will be keeping it in my collection. But unfortunately, when I rank my bomb perfumes, um, probably in October, it will rank low on the list. So that is what I got. Gold Coast, Scent of Peace, and Madison Avenue with my favorite in this collection. It's kind of a tie between Gold Coast and um, Scent of Peace. Just two perfumes that are just top tier. 
Um, Gold Coast is a little bit newer than Centerpiece. If my memory serves me correctly, Centerpiece is more fresh, um, but Gold Coast is, is giving it a run for its money. And there's one that I like just a tad bit more than both of those. And we'll get into that in another video. So that is my bond number nine refill event for May. And I will see you all in the next video. So if you have any questions about any of these perfumes, please leave them and please stay tuned for my review for each of the perfumes individually. I will see you in the next one. I love you guys. Bye.